you guys are coming with me into the office today. And what's exciting about coming into the office with me today is that we're headed into the new office. This is an exciting day for me because I've been out of the studio working uh, on different locations. I've just had my plate full, so I haven't been in the studio. The team, however, has been in and managed to get the place set up. I haven't actually decided whether I want to refer to it as an office or a studio. Office to me feels a little corporate, whereas I kind of think of the work that we do, it's more like a studio. It's more of a studio. We've got the big work tables, we've got the big collaboration table. It's really a place where we do creative work. I feel like I should refer to it as the studio, the design studio. So welcome to another day in the life. You guys are coming with me into the new studio. Sounds better, right? I recently did a post on my Instagram because there's been so many new friends that have joined my Instagram feed. I just wanted to get to know you guys a little bit better and I thought what better way to do that than to share a few fun facts about me that you might not know. Asking my Instagram followers to in return share some fun facts about them and you guys really really love that and the fifth one being that my superpower is my ability to manifest. I'm really, really good with manifestation. It's just my superpower. If I put my mind to something, it eventually happens. And you guys kind of zeroed in on that. I was really, really surprised. Um, I was not expecting that at all. And everybody seems to want to know more about manifesting and how to manifest and what that looks like and what I do to manifest. So I am considering doing a whole video on that. I don't know. But in the meantime, just a quick tip about manifestation. My first tip when it comes to manifestation is that you also have to have a lot of patience. You can't just think about something and then expect that it's gonna happen right away. That's not how manifestation happens. Depending on what you're trying to manifest, yeah, you gotta keep your mind pretty dedicated and pretty focused, sometimes for a lot longer than you think. But for me, the office move, for example, I'm really, really committed to the idea that it's gonna work out. I really trust the timing that things are going to work out and I do not deviate from that. I mean, of course doubts creep in, but you have to work really hard at not doubting yourself, ever. And I think that that focus and the determination is the contributing factor to why I've been able to manifest such great things in my life. that we have a full fridge. Hi. Hello, hello. Oh. Wow, how fun is this? Have you guys been loving it? Yeah. 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 Feels good. So good. It looks good. Oh, nice to see you guys. Oh, and your stand up. Yes. <laughs> I know it's so nice. It's awesome. We're so much more creative now, I feel. Really? Yeah, there's like, to, there's go. like room and to like, breathe, yeah. right? Yeah, our minds can breathe too now. Totally. Yeah. So exciting showing up to the new office and seeing everybody work, seeing all of the natural light flooding into the windows, seeing how bright and beautiful it looks, how shiny our floors look, although they do need to be dusted again. My mom needs to go out, out over those floors seeing how big our sample area is, being able to experience the boardroom and maneuver around the office, having a kitchen, having a little bathroom. I dropped my mic in the toilet, <laughs> so there was a moment there where there was no audio.
today I was chatting with Karina and Vanessa, Catalina, Paula, the whole team about the boardroom table that we're going to be getting. It's great to be collaborating with the team and everyone seems really happy and really excited to be in the new office space. And it's just bright and airy and feels really, really good when you're in the space. Like it just feels good. It's really fun. The office is going to come together over the next few weeks and months. It's our first internal, well, my first internal meeting in the new office space. The only design meeting that I've had was the client meeting for the Surrey Indian restaurant. Yeah. So we're continuing that. This is a complex project. It's a fairly big restaurant. It's about 5,000 square feet. 200 seats. We've been working on this project for a number of months and Paul is relatively new, Catalina is relatively new, so there is some time that's required to transition the projects over to the new people. People of course will come with a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge that they can bring to the table, which is the reason why you're hiring them in the first place, but there is always a learning curve with a new job and with a new company but that's to be expected when you're transitioning your team. So you just have to be able to account for that as a business owner. That said, it's coming along beautifully. The space plan is there, the design is there, the finishes look really great. We have completely rejigged re the floor plan. Like, this could, could be this... a spot for a larger group to gather. I was just mm -hmm. thinking Some that. Drinks. So 165 and then 34, they're at what, 199 and they wanted 200 people. It'll make it a really easy sell mm -hmm. because this floor plan gets them 199 people. I think the floor plan is way better. Huge improvement. Thank God for this big table with nothing else on it. <laughs> right? Can you imagine if we were just working <laughs> on this, <laughs> on the one little corner? This is what happens, now we need an even bigger table. <laughs> Let's talk about the other dining area. Put these in here. Mm -hmm. So it kind of all becomes one. Mm -hmm. And it just becomes like this beautiful shimmering gold cloud. I love the direction. I love the idea. What do I think about the fixture? I love the idea of this being like a big sort of like cluster. It almost looks like one fixture. You can't That's even. Kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, you can't even tell that it's like a bunch of different fixtures. Um, I almost want to take this fixture and do it everywhere, like the whole, like the whole ceiling. That would be amazing. Let's say we come in. I don't know. We pick a, just a measurement <laughs> that makes sense, that, yeah. and just see how many we can fit in. Mm -hmm. And then once we're good to go, let's render it, mm -hmm. and then we'll be ready to present. It's amazing how different having some space makes you feel. I know. And the natural light is so good in here. It's really good. Yeah, all day. Yeah, all day. All day, yeah. And then I finished off my creative day talking about Raw Canvas, the skincare clinic that we're doing out in Fort Langley. It's got a nice, light, fresh palette. Lots of light woods, whites, blush pinks. It's really, really pretty. So I'm excited about that project as well. Cute. She, she really has her like idea of what she wants, yeah. right? So I'll run through this really quickly. Okay. I showed her like four different uh, hardwood one. samples and she's like, that one. I love it. She's very decisive. Yeah, that's good. We're gonna do drawers below. This is one of mine, hey? Like one of your custom ones? This line, the Cosmopolitan line? Yeah is the line that I did for Divine. Yeah, they said that, that you collaborated. I didn't know to what extent. Yeah, picked, I uh, designed all the colors, went to China with them, and named all of them. This <laughs> one is- Over 40? This one's called Over 40. I was like, why did they name it that? Tell me, okay, wait, we'll talk about this another time. Okay. Let's talk about furniture. Super cute, cute. I don't really love that one. Oh, heavy. The white, I feel like you're not gonna see enough. Either this one or this one? Yeah. I kind of like that this plays off of this. Mm -hmm. But you can put them both on a quilt. Okay. 
Could we show her these as an option? Yep. And this is an alternate? Yes. Because it'd be nice to see because it. I think that chair is absolutely beautiful. Me too. And it would be nice if this was not behind the reception desk. Agreed. Yeah, I think either of those are good. Great. And in the discussion, you could also ask her if you if she wants to do a proper task chair. Like, are people going to be sitting there all day? Do they need something er ergonomic? I do like that one a lot. Okay. And these ones. I think it would too, especially like that long wall, if you had almost like two and then one on the end mm -hmm. and then a couple of plants on the bottom. Mm -hmm. That would be and nice. Logo in the middle. Yeah. This one is actually my first choice. Yeah, I love it. Done. Cool. This is <laughs> it's awesome. It's great. But I think we're giving her what she wanted. Totally. More. Like adding this with the wall covering. We're elevating. If she does go with this counter, she might really like the sill granite sinks. Great option. I will spec that. Because then it just looks clean, white. What are you doing? That's it. Yeah. Done. Where do you want to talk about this? In the boardroom? Yeah. Sure. We have a boardroom now, so we can say things like that. Peach or Jim? Cheers. Cheers. Not... Sorry. <laughs> That's Cheers. called being an adult. I thought we were going to say alcoholic. <laughs> no. No. It's five o'clock. It's past five. It's 5.30, we're still working. Throughout the day today, I had a lot of new business development meetings. That's what I was meeting with Vanessa about quite a bit today. You don't win all of them, hopefully you do. We try to. You wanna be writing proposals constantly, which is exactly what we're doing. I think I've been shopping for office space for about three, four years ago is when I seriously started looking for office space. Along the way, I definitely stumbled on a few spaces that I thought were good contenders and a few spaces that I almost secured and then pulled the plug in the last second for various different reasons. And then two years more seriously, but it's taken this long because I needed to find the right size, the right price, the right natural light. And that happened because I was really patient with this office move. Little D, what do you think of the space? Do you like it? You like the natural light? Yeah. I Feels think, good in there, right? Yeah, I think the team is like, it's, yeah, you feel more light and like creative, I guess. A lot of people kept saying like they feel more creative. They feel more creative. Yeah, they feel more creative because the space feels good. And so this is an example of how a space, yeah, how your environment affects the way you feel, affects how productive you are, affects what you think about, how you interact, and that's interior design. It has so much impact. So our job is important. Our job is really, really important. I just wanna thank all of you who have subscribed. I'm so happy that more of you guys have joined the channel and the Bond Squad. It's so fun to have you guys part of the squad. And I would love to hear from you guys in terms of what you would like to see more of on the channel. So do you want to, do you just like the day in the lives? Do you like coming along for the ride and for the journey? Do you want to see um, more about my personal life? Do you want to see more fashion? Do you want to see more completed projects? Uh, let me know, because I'm always interested in what you guys want to see. So that's it for today's video. The weekend is ahead. It's a gorgeous Friday afternoon. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.